Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy and I want to do a swipe on this 12 inch MDF. I want to work on swiping things a different way, which I've done before, but I haven't done it in a while. And so <clears throat> I figured we would give it a whirl. I do have to do it relatively quickly. So I'm going to show you the colors kind of as I lay them down. Just trying to get my hair out of my face real quick. So I'm going to use a white pillow paint using the Bloom Recipe. Of course, if you are new to my channel, um, I do the Bloom Technique, but I also do it for swipes and whatnot. Um, I do have a video below on what I typically use for my base paint, what I use for mixing my colors, cell activator, etc. Um, so feel free to take a gander if that if that helps you. Um, I am using Glidden Premium and Eggshell today for my pillow paint. And my paint has some globbies in it. Ooh, I should be wearing gloves, huh? I suppose. I'm going to use a mixture of colors. <clears throat> I'm going to use this swipey tooly thing and i'm going to use a black and white cell activator so that's really don't have a don't have a great plan i got the prism pour deep amethyst and i really think it's gorgeous so i figured why not find a reason to use it when i'm supposed to be doing chores or something so I'm gonna lay down my pillow paint. I hope that this is enough, but I have some more in here. It just hasn't been stirred in a while and that usually introduces bubbles. But I always tend to use too much pillow paint, so, you know, Ooh, there's a globby over there. I gotta find him. So yeah, <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well. Things have been super, super busy for me, so I'm sorry that I have been maybe a little more um, inactive than usual. I'm usually pretty consistent about posting and all that jazz, but um, things have just been pretty wild around here. We, our little black lab had surgery and she's doing pretty well, but she has to have a lot of rehab and a lot of ongoing attention. Look at all those globbies, ongoing attention. <clears throat> you know, in addition, in addition to having a day job and that kind of stuff. We all have to juggle to keep everything going. Feels like that might be a little light on the paint. So let me look at my other container here. It hasn't been stirred in a while, so I'm gonna just gently stir it. And then I'm just gonna kinda do this with it. It's not far from it's probably enough pillow paint if we're honest because again I always use too much and then I use too much paint so if we were concerned about it not moving it's probably going to move just fine but because <clears throat> apparently it's hard for me to learn not to do that we'll just do that anyway so just make me whack this one more time and see if any more globbies show and I'll pop a couple bubbles. Probably super annoying for you guys, sorry. <clears throat> anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Staying healthy and safe and um, all that good stuff. And all right, let me move that out of the way. I'm trying to be more neat as I go. I also thought it'd be fun to use <clears throat> some interference colors. And I'm going to use blue-black. I like to use blue-black at the bottom. For some reason, it just never really gets old for me, so I'm sorry if it gets old for you guys. This is Atelier Interactive. This is I'm using it as a color. I do sometimes use it as a cell activator. Um, obviously, as a cell activator, it's mixed differently, but I like, I love the color. I love the way it interacts with, <clears throat> excuse me, with the, um, pillow paint. 
So yeah, I'm a fan. Um, get a little wipey. I'll try to keep my gloves cleanish. All right, I'm going to use um, cerulean blue. I have just a little bit left in my little cup. So this is a prism pour color. You can see I have very little left in this little cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and use up what's left. And I'll know I need to mix up another one, but it's gorgeous. Gorgeous color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use up what's in here. And I did pick a lot of light, I mean dark colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I may drizzle that one kind of in between. And then, sorry about my sniffles. It's taken me a heck of a time to get over this thing that I was fighting. We're on the home stretch, but <clears throat> it, was, it was quite the journey. So this is Nightfall from Color Art. This is in the Secret Garden set. It's a beautiful, like, violet gray, gray violet. I love it, it's beautiful. And I don't have, I don't know if I need to use all of what's in here. We all know I use too much paint, so I mean, doesn't mean I'm not going to. But okay, that's probably good. And then I want to use a little deep sea from Global. I buy my Global paints from Pixel Paint Designs along with Boom Gels, <clears throat> which I'm going to use some tonight as well, and Australian Floetrol. Um, so there is a 10% off, <clears throat> excuse me, coupon for Global. I'm sorry, from Pixel Paint Designs. Um, it's Mandy10, and it's in the description box below. And of course, there's a 20% off for Color Art in the description box below for anything on the Color Art website. And there's other fun things. There's <clears throat> discount codes, links, all kinds of things. So don't hesitate to take advantage of those. I'm gonna throw in some interference colors cause they're fun. And also there is a new set of prism pour colors out from Color Art. So I will try to remember to link them in the video below. They are on their way so I can show you the colors. This is interference green by the way from Color Art. So they are on their way. And I will do a color preview when I get them. Can't wait to see them. They're gorgeous. And um, but you can also save 20% if you want to grab those using my code. And they look like they're going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so we use that. We used. We have a few more colors. I realize now that I brought a lot over here. That's all right. It'll be fun. We're going to use Calypso which is a primary element and I think it's from the secret garden set I love it a lot look at it it's so pretty so figured we would add that in here and so these interference colors what's so fun about them is they may look kind of unassuming right now when your piece dries and you shift it around and <clears throat> see the colors once you resin it it's incredible what interference colors will do for a piece absolutely incredible all right now i'm going to add a little rubellite which is also from the secret garden set and it's a gorgeous color with the new prism pour set there's a bonus color you know how leslie always likes to give a freebie bonus which is always a lot of fun to see well, it's called, I think, Black Ruby, and let me tell you, it's gonna be one of the most incredible colors. So this one, I love how it has all the different colors sparkle in there, rubellite. So, this one has mixed up a little thin or I didn't stir it well, one of the two. 
so we won't overdo it. I don't want something too thin at the top. All right, and now we're gonna throw in a little interference violet for giggles. Because why not, you know? Because you can, that's why you do things. And because it's Friday. You won't see this on Friday, but it's Friday and it's been a long, long week. So you do things because you can, you know? I think we should all be impressed that I'm not slinging the paint right now because it's Friday. Because <clears throat> sometimes you sling paint, you know? So we're not slinging it, but we're adding too many colors because we want to and we can. So this is Interference Violet. Very unassuming, but just wait. Just wait till you see that little guy later on resined one day. I act like I'm going to get it resin like tomorrow. We all know that's probably not going to happen. Interference, Violet, where's your lid? Okay, so let me put this guy away. Then I'm going to show you guys the deep amethyst, and you're going to be excited. And some of you guys may have already seen it, but it's the first time I have this little guy mixed up, and he's beautiful. So let me show you. Okay, and I just mixed it up a little while ago, so probably has some bubbles. So it's sort of like a dioxazine purple with really crazy radical sparkle. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. Okay, it's a prison pour color from Color Art. All right, let's sling some of that one on here. I mean, who doesn't think that's delightful? I mean, we all know I like purple, so. All right, now we're going to plop some more cerulean blue up there with this guy and use it up. I have paint all over my hands. And then cerulean blue. It's hard to really see how beautiful that cerulean blue color is until you really see it catch the light. It's spectacular. So we're going to use a little bit of this guy at the top because I want a little bit of lighter contrast in addition to the boom gels I'm going to use. Now I love boom gels and I get boom gels again from Pixel Paint Designs and I was like, I haven't used boom gels in a while. But I'm also going to put a little acrylic paint on the top, just regular flat color for some contrast. So I love to use boom gels, period, but I really enjoy using them right underneath the cell activator because <clears throat> they usually have a great reaction with cells. Um, I don't know what it is about them. They're, what's fun about boom gels is they are the perfect consistency for blooms. So you can use them right out of the bottle. You don't have to mix them into anything. So when you just kind of want to add an accent color, like we're going to do at the top, it's a great way to do that without, you know, feeling like you have to get all your colors out. So we're going to use a little bit of parrotfish green, which is one of my faves. <clears throat> First, let me pop these stain bubbles. Sorry if you see my wet hair get right in the way I pulled it back because it likes to get in the paint <sighs> these bubbles they're just going to be a pain in the butt and we're just going to deal with it so anyway then it's just going to drizzle a little bit of this I'm not going to go too crazy boom gels if you overdo them sometimes they can kind of take over because they continue to work with your cell activator really well even after you've done your initial swipe or whatever so, but that's why they're so fun to use at the top because they interact so nicely. And sometimes, let's say you're not having a great cell reaction, they really help. I've also used them at the top of a bloom when, when I'm using cell activator that's, you know, a little bit more old than preferred. So it may not perform as well as... You know, I'm used to, boom gels are nice with that. They're a nice way to kind of ensure that that is a thing. So 
I have, I mean, I've used really old cell activator and used boom gels at the top and had the cell activator perform much better. I'm also going to put just a little bit of Mulga Parrot Green. Just a little bit, not too much. And then we will swipey, swipey, swipey. I'm trying to get the paint junk out of here. Okay. Just a little bit, because this one's a little bit more bright. Okay. <laughs> I need to shape this better, apparently. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do it lightly, and takes a little bit to squeeze it. <clears throat> okay. Now, on my swipey tool, I'm going to layer my black cell activator first because that's the one I want to kind of go over the top. So I'm going to put that down first so it's the last to swipey over. And then I'm going to drizzle the white on top of that. I'm using M. Graham cell activator from, I hope that's what this says because I can't read. It's, the top is dirty. But it should be Lamp Black from M. Graham and then Titanium White from M. Graham. I get my M. Graham acrylic paint from Blick. I love it as a cell activator. Oh, crap. This, in the right light, it looks like it's brown black. And I was like, oh, that's not what I meant to use. But it's not. I just finally read the container and it does say M. Graham. But I was like, I mean, brown black's a fun cell activator, but that's not what I wanted. Sorry about my commentary to myself, you guys. Okay, so the trick for me, I can't speak for everyone, is I want a pretty good amount of cell activator on my tool, but I don't want it swimming in it because then it takes a long time for the cells to come through. But I find if I don't have a pretty decent amount, then... Um, I don't get as good a cell coverage to kind of swipe all the way across. So hopefully that makes sense for y'all. So I, I kind of need it to be significant enough so I can accomplish that goal, but not like caked on there. And I would show you if I trusted my skills not to drop it, which I don't trust those skills. So... Yeah, let's check it out. So I'm gonna show you my drizzlies so you can see what I'm talking about. Just trying to clean up my mess along the way. There's so many bubbles. So see, there's my knifey. So I'm going to come from here. Yikes, I think. Now, I have a video where I tried to swipe sort of that way and then I came and drew a line through here because I saw Nikki do it and it was really cool when she did it, but when I did it, it was a disaster. And I fixed it in the video and I thought it ended up turning out really cool. And what I just did is not really cool, but I'm hoping I can fix it. But I was like, I haven't done one with that kind of a direction where I sort of wreck it and all that in a while. So I love this, we're gonna lose most of that. This right here I love, this right here I love, we're gonna lose most of that too. So that's a bummer. So let's see if we can't kind of guide some of this, the weight of this paint to be a little bit this way so we don't lose all of, all of it. Um, but then by the same token up here is kind of naked, but that's okay. So we're gonna focus our embellishment up here. I need to bring this light a little bit closer. Ay, ay, ay. Nope, glare. So let's see. I'm gonna start doing some things to it. Um, so this looks a little strange right here. This looks pretty 
wispy right here. You need to do some sort of a line either through it or in the edges of it. And I'm trying to figure out what would be the right move. So let me externally process with y'all and we'll see where we land. This guy right here, this big, huge bubble that popped is kind of a catastrophe. Let me get another wipe in here. So this is, you know, it's not that hard to swipe and get cells. It's not that hard. It does take some skill to get used to the weight of your hand, always wanting to mess things up and all that. But the composition, once you do swipe, when you want to try to get a little adventurous, it takes some effort and you got to take some risks, right? None of us like to be bad at things. At least I know I don't. So, but you have to kind of be willing to make some that look really weird so you can kind of get the handle of things. So, popping bubbles takes all of my life. I just messed up one of these cells. Some of these cells, like right here, let me tell you, I'm kind of glad we're going to get rid of those. I love the tiny ones and I always lose them because I use too much paint. So let's see. Um, I kind of want to I got to break up this harsh edge that we have going on here. So I like, I like where this is, but this, this is what I think is gonna happen. We're gonna spin this, the prettiest part. I hope we keep this part for sure. But this will probably go mostly off the edge. So we can, since we haven't spun yet, we can manipulate where our design goes a little bit so that we hopefully keep some of this really cool swooshy part and less of the part that didn't quite swipe the way I wanted, which was totally operator error. It wasn't, the, it's not the paint's fault, you know? I know when I'm wrong most of the time. Okay, now over here, uh -oh. so even though it feels like the composition is a little wacky, I just decided to spin it and see what comes of it. We had quite a bit of paint on there, so why not, right? Of course, I had to pop some bubbles in the interim. And the more I spun it out, even though it was funky, I really liked it. Love the colors together. Um, it was different than I kind of started off thinking it would be. Of course, isn't it always like that, right? But I did leave a little bit too much paint on, but it did dry okay. A couple of the cells got a little wobbly, but um, overall, I, I kind of loved how funky it was. So let me know what you think. I'll bring you in for a close-up shortly. I did have to deal with a couple bubbles, and um, so I just sped this part up. A couple bubbles, a couple little um, pinholes where the pillow comes through. Um, but all in all, I really, really enjoyed this one. So don't forget about the discounts in the description box below. There's a lot of stuff down there. Um, and of course the 20% off for color art, 10% off for pixel paint designs. And, um, I have, you know, my Amazon shop, my Blick link, all kinds of stuff, my Facebook group. So don't forget to look down there. I try to keep a lot of information in there for you. Hang in for a close up. All right. So here's our close up. You can see things got a little wobbly there from all the paint. But look at those colors. Look at that deep amethyst and how beautiful it played with all of these other colors. I just really love the way the colors turned out together. And it's a little funky, but this part over here is my favorite. I really think it's beautiful.
different than I intended, obviously. Let me know what you think. My dog's over here sniffing me. Let me know what you think. And um, don't forget about all the things in the description box for you. Mm -hmm. I love these little cells. Hi, baby. Thanks again for watching. Bye.